show these people D-Touch technology. So let's go ahead and change the music here. We'll let you pick whatever you want. See what kind of mood he's in. He's heading to the top music boards. Oh, he's in a romantic mood. He's picked a romantic song. A little Mackenzie Chelsea. All right, how about this? Can you go ahead and turn the music up for us there? So this is, again, the V-Touch technology, completely hands-free. By the way, if you hear that sound coming from the vehicle, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Krell for providing this amazing auditory experience. If you look over here, that's the Krell Sound Lounge if you want to learn more about Krell. Uh, but the really neat thing about this car is, in the future, there's two kinds of people. You're just someone who wants autonomous driving, you want freedom, you want to take your hands off the wheel, or you want manual driving. In the future, you can kind of choose. Uh, here's the deal. Uh oh, we got a notification. No, it says we'll be late if we keep going with this speed. Do you want to change the drive mode? Okay, so the car is now recognized. We're going to be late to the Pop Music Awards if we stay on autonomous driving mode. So it's actually asked him if he wants to change the drive mode. Eric, do you want to be late? No. You don't want to be late? What are you going to do? He's going to drive. All right, here we go. So he's now changing the drive mode. I want you to notice first and foremost the lighting is going to change from blue to yellow. He wants to make it on time. He's going to switch into manual driving mode and drive himself the rest of the way to the MGM. Three things are going to happen. One, that driver's seat slides back into position. Next, you're going to see the cockpit. It's going to raise to the level of the driver. And then third, you're going to notice the steering controls are going to slide out right in front of him. So it essentially creates a cockpit. Now, if you watch what he did there, he used his eyes and the retinal facial recognition. By scanning his eyes to the left and the right, it's synced with his eyes. Now watch, all he has to do is glance left or right just like that, and it pulls up his side view mirror information. So he can see what's going on. Also, it reduces the information on the GUI so he can focus on driving. So now we've arrived at the MGM. Uh, we've shown you autonomous driving. We've shown you the outside of the car. We showed you the inside of the car. We just showed you manual driving. The last thing I want to show you, I mentioned this earlier, is parking. This is my favorite part. But for this, we don't need Eric, so you're off to the Pop Music Awards. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot. You drove there by yourself. I got to assume you're taking somebody. Who are you taking the Pop Music Awards? Someone here? Someone that we don't know about? What happens if Vegas stays in place, right? <laughs> Vegas All right, I won't ask you. Guys, give a round of applause for Eric. Well done, my friend. Have fun at the Pop Music Awards. So now that we've arrived at the MGM, you're going to watch the lighting switch from yellow back to blue. The M-Vision S essentially now turns itself into its very own valet service. He doesn't have to give the keys to anybody, he just gets out and walks inside. And now it's going to start scanning the parking lot around the destination for available parking spaces. Self-parking. Like in parking the real space. valet self-parking. Uh, it's going to it's gonna go out there and look for a parking spot parking by itself. The M-Vision S is an autonomous driving mode that it's parking itself. It's gonna scan, find its available parking spot, find whatever it wants, and then watch it. it's gonna back in, pull in safely, and because it has wireless charging, the Envision S is gonna to start to charge itself. And then wireless it charging, out, my friend. All he has to do is look at the communication panel here. As soon as it's parked, it's gonna to switch to charging mode, and when he comes back, he'll know exactly the charging level of the Envision S. Maybe it's not charged, he heads back inside, maybe it's fully charged, he goes back inside and gambles a little bit. You can do whatever you want. That's the freedom of autonomous driving with a car that has this much smart.